Hello and welcome back to the Zone Focus channel. Today we're going to do something a little different than usual. Uh, I'm going to go on a little story time, uh, kind of like a freestyle off the dome uh, type deal with uh, today's video. So I've been living outside of the United States for going on five years now. But over the 2019 and 2020 kind of Christmas, New Year, uh, I got the chance to go home and be with my family, which was the first Christmas that I've spent with my family since Christmas 2014. The things that I took home actually were the Nikon L35 AF, this camera right here. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really shoot this much. I shot one roll of film in the Nikon uh, because it was kind of uh, took a back seat compared to the Leica M6. Uh, I used the Leica M6 pretty much every day while I was at home. Uh, I shot only Tri-X in this uh, the whole time. I didn't put any color film in it. I shot the Tri-X and I had the 50 millimeter, blah. I had the 50 millimeter Heliar Classic from Voigtlander. And on one occasion, I actually used an orange filter. And we'll have those photos in the video as well. So while I'm doing this, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to play back some photos that I made while I was at home. I'll leave the, the name of the film that I used and the camera that I used uh, under the, uh, with the photo. All right. So y'all sit back, relax, and I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit, kind of list some things off my chest. So of course I went home. And the first place I went was Waffle House. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, from the South. So anybody from the South, you already know what Waffle House is. And uh, Waffle House is a breakfast type restaurant. But anyway, stopped in there, had to get some food as soon as I got off the plane. And then uh, made the trip back up to the city and uh, stopped at a couple of places along the way. Uh, the first major time I actually got out to make some photos was when I went out with the M6 and the orange filter. And I made a couple of photos with that combination just around maybe like three blocks of city. Just kind of walked around in circles shooting an entire roll. And uh, it was my first time using the orange filter and I screwed up uh, because basically I underexposed the film instead of overexposing to compensate for the filter. So I ended up shooting it at, I developed it for 1600 because I metered for 800. And uh, anyway, the photo still came out good. So I'm excited about that. Another thing I forgot to do was actually take photos without the filter. So because I didn't take any photos without the filter, you can't really see uh, what the difference between these are. But I can kind of talk to you about it. So what I noticed was that the buildings seem to uh, the stone becomes lighter in the buildings when um, you use the orange filter. It seems like it really brightened up a lot of these buildings. For example, uh, as you can see with these next couple photos, this is a, a Capitol Hill Hotel, which is a hotel near Capitol Hill. And the detail in these photos, I mean, of course, the lens plays some type of role in it, but uh, the filter, I can tell, really made an effect. I've never seen Tri-X look like this personally. And uh, to look at these photos, especially like the window seal, and the amount of detail in the image, and I don't know, the way it came out, I can't really give you any real super ph photographic lingo about it. It just looks amazing to me. I haven't used it enough to give you a whole bunch about it, but like I said, originally my, my whole point of making this video was just to talk about these photos. But something happened when I was at home and that was I started taking photos of my family. Uh, being that it's the first kind of Christmas time I've spent with my family since I was, since I left the US, I was like, this time I'm gonna take some photos. And I was really, you know, set on taking photos of my family. And it wasn't until I got back to Japan and sat down and looked through the photos and I've never felt so happy with photos and there's nothing artistic about the photos and uh, it just made me realize that 
you know, photography isn't something that always has to be artistic. Uh, it's not something that you have to stress over as far as uh, what kind of photos you're taking all the time. Uh, you, I feel like, you know, when you find something that's significant to you, something that means something to you, when you take photos of it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't take as much work, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, these photos of my family are not artistic in any way, but they're significant to me. So yeah, to wrap up this video, I know it was kind of a, you know, off topic thing. And I don't really usually make videos where I'm just kind of talking like this. And I, I think it's good to be able to do this as well. Shit, it's my channel, so I can do what the hell I want to do on it. And if you're watching, I appreciate you. So I got love for you. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to take a chance and just be like, yo, why do we shoot photography? Like, what's the point? And like I said, that's something that I realized when I was at home is that, you know, the point is to be able to capture significant moments in your life and things that are significant to you and not significant to the next person. They might not mean a damn thing to the next dude or the next person at all, but it don't matter. As long as it means something to you, then you're doing exactly what needs to be happening. Um, get out there, make the photos that you want to make of the things that you want to make it about telling the story that you want to tell. And if you do that, then that's good enough. And uh, yeah, just do it. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out the video. If you stuck around this long, you know I appreciate you just like always. Uh, the channel is growing crazy. It's uh, we know over 500 subscribers now and going higher and higher and higher. And again, it's I don't really hold myself to, I don't really keep up with that number. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just make videos that I like and videos that, uh, you know, kind of tell my story. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. I can't ever say subscribe. If you appreciate that and you would like to kind of stick along for the journey, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I can't say subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also uh, like this video all of these things basically what they do is they just help the channel and uh, I appreciate you so with that being said stays on focus get out there make photographs that you love and let's do it 2020